Hello, I am Joanna Lumley. I am a pensioner. I'm here today at the Cheltenham Festival on this Sunday to talk about my new book, which is called Joanna Lumley Absolutely. Rather sort of obvious title, but actually it's about my life. My life through photographs. And I've kept photographs forever and ever since virtually before I was born, right through my young life, um, my life at a convent school, being a model in the 60s, then all through my acting career. So it's quite jammed with pictures. My life has been so long and so varied, it was actually very difficult trying to edit it into the, into the book shape. And so I've obviously left out tons, which people will be extremely grateful for, otherwise the book would be this big. Um, but I've made a sort of shape to it, I think, that people who maybe have read the other two books I've written about my life won't be bored and go and read all this and turn it all over. They will, I hope, be bewitched by the sort of stupidity within and the extraordinary ghastliness of some of the pictures and the touchiness of some of them and times of some of the photographs of people who are just magic and who they'll go, ooh, do you remember him? Look at her. It's rather thrilling to be in rehearsals for The Lion in Winter, which we preview in early November and open in the mid middle of November at the Haymarket Theatre in London, directed by Trevor Nunn, Robert Lindsay playing Henry II. And it is not, I mean, this time last year I was on stage in London again with La Bette, with Mark Rylance, and then took it over to New York onto Broadway for four months. So I'm being a bit of a theatre person at the moment, although I shall be back onto television very soon because we've just done three more absolutely fabulouses. And of course my big documentary, the Greek series, starts next week. So plenty, plenty, plenty going on. The difference between working for cameras and working for the stage is that big. It, but it's all got to come, come from the same thing, which is that you've got to be true. You've got to understand what you're talking about and you've got to be able to do it. Now, you do it big on the stage because people maybe in a 1500 seat of theatre have got to be able to see what you're thinking. Um, and very small when the camera is close, close, close and has just got a close up of your eyes, you might only need to move your eyes to there for somebody to think, I don't believe him. If you do that in a huge theatre, they won't see that. They literally won't see that eye movement. So you've got to do something a little bit bigger. So it's all the same thoughts and it'll be the same words, but just different way of sending them out to the audience. I think my mother gave birth to a book before she had my, my sister and me. She read like a maniac. She used to wake in the night, she used to read under the bedclothes. My father was a book. My sister read books. She was on to Dickens by the time I was still scrambling about with Enid Blyton. We read, read, read. We all read. All of us read all the time. And um, books are more a part of my life than I could ever tell you. I'm going to have my coffin made of books so that if I don't dissolve into clay, I might wake up in the middle of one wormy night and just thumb a few pages.